Today we've got some hackers that we've caught red-handed, well, hacking. I just said hackers, people. You'd think that the people would get what I'm saying, but nine seasons in, here we are. Some people are still using exploits. As usual, it's our job at Top 5 Gaming to clean up the mess that these hackers have made by exposing the signs that you may be dealing with the hacker, as well as the extent of these hacks so that you guys can try to fight back, whether that be an Epic's customer support email or actually trying to beat a hacker in battle. Top 5 Fortnite Season 9 Hackers Caught in the Act. Also, use code T5G in the item shop or a coconut will fall from the sky. I don't know if you've seen the statistics for deaths caused by coconuts, but they're a threat. A big one. It's kind of weird. Also, be sure to join the Discord. The link is in the description below to become a part of the top five gaming community. But in at the number five spot, we've got TSM Daquan encountering a hacker. Like, I was... That's a boss, bro. Come on, okay, okay. dude. Okay, I thought. I'm oh my god. Yeah, he has 15 kills, bro. When he stands still, he hits all the shots, so there's no blue. <laughs> okay. Woohoo! <laughs> okay. One of the most satisfying feelings in the world is watching your favorite Fortnite streamer get killed by a hacker live on stream. As you know, that person is being caught right on camera to hundreds of thousands of people. In this case, it was TSM Daquan, who unfortunately died to an aimbotter live on stream. With 15 players left, Daquan had 10 kills and was killed by a hacker named Daboonla, who eliminated him while falling off a bill. Immediately after dying, Daquan called out, that's aimbot, bro. Come on, dude. The hacker had 15 kills when he eliminated Daquan with the streamer spectating him for the whole match. Daquan and his stream stayed to watch the hacker walk around eliminating tons more people with 100% accuracy. The hacker didn't even try to hide his aimbot with some clips showing him sniping people that are merely pixels on the screen and shooting them out of the sky. Of course this hacker won the game with a total of 26 kills. You search for the hacker's epic username on a site like Fortnite Tracker you can see that his most recent match was the one caught live on stream which means he was banned by epic just after being exposed by Daquan. It also shows that the hacker had a KD of 10.3 and had won three games out of the 13 matches. I mean, come on. I can't use a bot and still be so bad. Quite sad. At least they're banned now. I mean, I have no sympathy for them. Cheating is bad, kids. Don't do it. Number four is Vanished. It's okay, but sometimes it's not okay. I'm not really good at critiquing. Uh, what? Out of nowhere. Where are you? Oh, he just got, oh, he was a hacker. Wait, that guy was a hacker. He just, he just got struck by the ban hammer. What is even more funny than a hacker getting banned after being caught on stream? Well, a hacker being banned right in front of the people that they were attacking. That's what happened when Twitch streamer Alipop was playing a squads match with three teammates of hers. While minding her own business and chilling around a campfire to heal up and take a breath, the squad of four were attacked by a seemingly far player who injured two of Alipop's teammates with merely a pistol at 70 meters within the space of two seconds. It seemed that Fortnite's anti-cheat system kicked in after seeing how impossible that was, the player was banned from the game. You can see in the kill feed that Levu was Levo, I butchered that name, I apologize in advance, was struck by the man hammer. And if you pay close attention, you could actually spot the hacker's loot fall down from the mountain from where they were pistol sniping from. Karma works wonders, and the hacker didn't even get to finish what they started as Alipop picked up both their teammates in the end. They didn't end up winning the match, unfortunately, but they placed better than they would have if the hacker wasn't detected by Fortnite's anti-cheat. The hacker must have only turned on the aimbot just before downing her teammates, otherwise I'm sure the game would have detected and banned the hacker much earlier into the game. Either way, it's just as well served, and I'm glad that they're gone for good. Number three, aimbot. Where? Oh, Somebody okay. rebooting? Yeah, it's broken, no way. If they are... Bro. Oh, what? Hacks? No way. Here's another instance where a hacker was so obviously using aimbot to eliminate enemies in a Fortnite match, but in this case, they actually tried to hide it once they were being spectated. In a duo's match for a challenge in which they had to use only Flint pistols, Sword Dylan and his partner Air were minding their own business, with Dylan on eight eliminations. Pretty impressive for a Flint knock pistol only match. Unfortunately, their fun was interrupted when Dylan was eliminated trying to grab Air's reboot card. The catch is, Dylan was sniped from far away for 153 damage in just a second. The 
person who eliminated him took him out with a double headshot with an infantry rifle from miles away. In shock, the duo then spectate the hacker who has six spectators on him, and it seems that he notices that and turns off his aimbot hacks while fighting someone else. Of course, he gets destroyed because he's terrible without his trusty cheats, but you can't hide it in the end. As Sword Dylan went into replay mode and spectated the hacker's blatantly obvious aimbot in the early part of the match. Number two is the invisible hacker. This entry on the list is quite unique as it involves a hacker that isn't using aimbot or damage modifiers, but is instead opting to be completely invisible in a game. That's right, this hacker chose to play Fortnite with invisibility hacks like he's Harry Potter or something. In a match of Fortnite squads, German Twitch streamer Wology realized that he had come face to face with a hacker in the final form. It was a 1v1 battle for the victory royale, and Kualaji was on a high of 14 eliminations, was stopping at nothing. Rushing to avoid boom bow arrows from the invisible enemy, Kualaji glides into the area it came from and shoots randomly in front of him many times to try to get the hacker. Obviously, the guy is invisible. Good luck knowing where he is, but luckily for Kualaji, the hacker reveals himself, but only because he's holding a gun, which can be spotted. At this point, the 1v1 is between a skull trooper and a floating weapon, which is hopping around. Kualaji gets the better of the hacker and eliminates them, winning the game with 16 eliminations. Not only did the hacker lose the game, but they couldn't even beat someone while invisible. I mean, get good. Like, come on. Our first honorable mention belongs to a player named Hasso Logo, who caught a hacker on PC with 29 in-game eliminations. Now, that is dangerously high to some of the records. During a squad match, this hacker was roaming around on a drift board, minding his own business and bandaging up, just relaxing. Really. The hacker called Dexpol was being spectated by 20 people, so you can already tell he's being very suspicious and causing a lot of people want to see what he's doing. Well, the clip shows the hacker doing flips on the drift board while simultaneously headshotting a squad of four players. It's so ridiculously obvious that he's aimbotting, and he doesn't even try to hide it. I mean, he shows off to 25 spectators like cross-mapping players that you can't even spot with the naked eye. He's literally just eagle-eyeing players. Like, what the actual... Oh, my God. Goodness gracious. He just snaps his crosshairs to them and hits them for 76 damage. Instant headshot each time. Where's the fun in playing Fortnite like this? Surely it gets boring after a while. Just constant 100% accuracy headshots across the map. He even ends up aimbotting a squad while flying up a volcanic vent. Speaking of this, this is an honorable mention because while this clip isn't actually from season nine, it's right before it started. And just look at how juicy the clip is. The hacker was caught right on camera, finishing the game at number one with 44 eliminations and 34 people spectating him. I, I hope you're happy. Enjoy your band because you've been caught. Honorable mention number two. Our second honorable mention is from a small YouTuber named DonXYT. <laughs> While the earlier entries have given us a taste of hackers being banned mid-match and also using various cheats mid-fight, this clip shows two hackers being banned at the exact same time and happens right in front of the player. Dawn, like most players on this list, was just a regular player trying to play a normal match of Fortnite until he encountered some enemies and begun a build battle with them. Dawn thought this was just a regular build battle, trying to attack the other players with a classic shotgun flank, but as he shot at and turned on one of the enemies, they vanished out of existence with all their loot bursting from where they were and it falling down the build onto the floor. Just as this happens, we see that two players in the kill feed were struck by the van hammer at the exact same time. This clip is only an honorable mention as we don't know exactly what kind of cheats these modders were using, but only that they were both banned mid-fight. Cheekily, Dawn, in his default skin, fair enough, I guess, does the take the L emote on both hackers. Well done. That's, that, that, that is just my boy. Number one, CBV. There are a lot of live stream fails out there on the internet with streamers constantly slipping up, accidentally live streaming, being the victim of chat jokes, and more. However, this case isn't exactly an accident, as CBV is a YouTuber and modder who recently gained traction for exposing a pro player who attempted to buy cheats for the World Cup qualifiers. We covered it in one of our latest videos, so go check that out if you haven't seen it. Essentially, a pro player for Team Caliber tried to buy wall hacks from CBV, and he was exposed live on YouTube and dropped from his team. Since then, CBV has been trying to naturally grow his channel. Whether this was the way to do it, I have no idea. Of course, do what you do best, right? Well, naturally, CBV live streams himself using aimbot and wall hacks live and even titles his live stream fortnite aimbot plus esp hacking live not clickbait you gotta have the not clickbait in the title because i mean all right
why not, right? Throughout the stream, you can see CBV's cheats without him even doing anything as red lines across his screen show exactly where the closest enemies are and then show a red box around them when he's close enough. At that point, he just aimbots and rains all over the other players in his duos match. People in the chat at this time were spamming words like trash and asking, why are you aimbotting? I mean, how is this fun to watch CBV? Replies, well, you're watching it, so I mean, it's pretty ballsy to stream yourself hacking with your Epic Games username publicly and view to 500 live stream viewers. Impressively, CBB was not banned for the entirety of his one hour, 10 minute long stream. Epic Games are slacking, man. It's not cool to cheat in games. People just want to play fair. Players who use mods, cheats, and hacks to cheat the game just make it less fun for everybody else. You know, CBV in this case, while he did do the right thing by exposing Johnny K for buying mods, he's also live streaming himself, ruining other people's fun and selling cheats on his shop. It's during a time where kids as young as 14 years old are being taken to court by Epic Games lawyers and sued for hacking the game. Now that's not an ideal situation to be in. What do you think about the way Epic handle hackers in the current Fortnite season? Let us know. Other than that, we hope you guys have a wonderful day. Be sure to use code T5G in the item shop and keep it here on Top 5 Gaming.